For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. In previous video session, we see that how to create the users and uh, how the users will be created and types of users, all the details. In this video session, we are going to see that how to change user properties in the sense uh, you already created some users, but you wanted to change some uh, settings of the users or you wanted to change his, you wanted to move his home directory from one location to another location or you wanted to change his login name or lock the user or unlock the user okay you maybe wanted to change some uh, password aging details all the stuff okay how you can do that so you can do that using the uh, user mod command so uh, the user mod command which means that um, modifies the system account files to reflect the changes that are specified on the command line so the command line is used to uh, change the user properties so how you can do that example say um, we take some example from a last created user okay maybe test one okay so the username is test one has been created over here but uh, i don't like the user login name like uh, i don't want test one something like that i wanted to change to some meaningful username for that user id okay so how you can change that so you can simply say that um, user mod iphone small l and provide the login name okay the login name and the new login name so i just wanted to change is um, sorry new login name okay from test1 to ravi now if you type uh, test1 so there is no test1 login name actually so but the change is um, user id details or is comment so you wanted to add to the multiple groups so how we can use that okay user mode if you want to add him to the multiple uh, groups you can use g a r a g okay because a in the sense append the group okay if you say only g which means that you have to add existing groups and details also okay so i wanted to append the user group details over here so using what user i you group you wanted to add i wanted to add to the a ravi and root group also i wanted to add the username is ravi now you can provide the username so that you can see that what are the groups he is added into you can see that root group is added and a ravi also is added if you want to add some more users or um, details you can also add even using the capital g is a secondary group if you want to change primary group details you can also change the primary group details using the small g sorry no append actually because uh, the primary group cannot be appended so it should be changed so that now you can see that before it was test one now it is now if you want to change back again to the test one you can change that okay that that is the primary group changing if you want to log the user or if you want to change the login shell of the user which means that the user is system user account are the user is provided only to uh, switch to the from user to user only i don't want to give him a login shell okay you can simply change his login shell to the no login shell which means that he cannot remotely log into that user using that user okay you can simply say slash has been slash no login and provide the username now you can go to that slash etc slash password entry and see that the ravi user does not have the login shell to login 
okay you cannot remotely log in but you can switch from one user to another user if you want to revert back again wanted to change the login shell you can use slash bin slash bash and provide the username okay any any shells you can use okay you can simply type uh, cat slash etc shells okay these many shells are available in your machine you can change any shell okay no login shell is particularly used used to block the user from logging logging from remotely okay if you want to change the user to be logged so okay i just wanted to log and uh, in the sense i uh, observed that the user uh, having some login attempts okay unwanted login attempts i wanted to log the user immediately you can simply use capital l okay so which will add the exclamatory mark on the slash etc slash uh, shadow file over here okay and uh, go ahead and see that so here there is an exclamatory mark is has been added over here see this okay that exclamatory mark indicates that the user is logged if you want to unlock the user again you can simply use capital u to unlock the user and go ahead and see that the exclamatory has been gone from here so that indicates the exclamatory is that the user has been logged the if the, there is no exclamatory mark in front of the password that means that the user is unlocked okay so like that you can use there are some other options to change these uh, primary groups and um, uh, secondary groups or if you want to inactive the user completely you can also use user mode if and uh, uh, f and say um, uh, username so that the user will be inactive not the password the user itself is going to be inactive okay if you want to set some expiry date for the user in the sense the user can only be some some users they joined as a contractors or there some users they join only for uh, internship for certain days so uh, you know need to uh, go and uh, manually um, do is uh, expiry date or all the stuff or you can simply specify the expiry date using the user mode iphone small e in the years okay example say years and uh, date sorry month and date something like this so the user is going to be automatically expired on that particular date so these details will be appended to the shadow file you can see that uh, the user is, is going to be appended to the this file and say the user is going to be expired automatically on that particular day itself so the user is going to be expired you cannot log into the user so again you have to come back to us and expand is date expiry date to some other days to some other day or if you wanted to add some user comment example say is description user role description or from user location or something like that you can also add uh, something like this okay united um, states user or um, administrator something like that and provide the username so if you can go ahead and see on the slash etc password file and uh, you can see this so the user comment has been appended from here to here so the comment will be very helpful whenever you wanted to uh, describe the user like based on his location based on his role or based on his um, uh, property details or whatever it is is convenient for your um, information okay are convenient for you to identify the user so you can specify that description which will be very helpful on you okay example say i wanted to create a non unique user which means that uh, the user wanted to share their uid details in the sense one uid i wanted to create multiple users you can also do that okay using the iphone o option you can also use that user mode um, example say user mode iphone o and specify the uh, uid number example say i wanted to specify 1001 and you can also specify is user id number and specify the username uh, so first of all I, actually we have to add the user then modified is property details to the details so that using the single uid or non unique user you can create multiple logins 
okay like that you can use but that is not your best practice always okay i do not encourage you to create that now so going to the password expiry information details so there is a command called change you can simply type change hyphen uh, l and provide the username so by default the password expires so there is no expiry date our password inactive so there is no inactive because it says never never and the last password change is so and so date and expires when it expires we set the expiry date right so 20 seconds so the account is going to be expired on these days and what is the minimum days between the password change and um, maximum days this many days okay number of warning in the sense when before these days uh, before seven days the user is going to be warned that your password is going to be expired something like that so if you give something like this so then the user is going to be never inactive or never going to be expired so that's going to be a not easy task to manage multiple users on the servers okay so you have to always specify the user expiry date and their uh, account expiry details because if the user left the organization then account is still there then they can uh, we forgot to disable or we forgot to remove the user account then they can still have the access to the uh, server so they may be access to the server and they may do something after lifting the organization kind of stuff okay but it's always in a good practice to set their expiry date or inactive details and all the details so that you specify or you compile with the security program okay let's do that so how we can do that okay using the change command and you can using the iphone small m you can specify minimum number of days to change the password um, age so i specify zero and the maximum days to be changed uh, every 90 days i wanted to change the user to change the password and the warning details to be me before 10 days to expire the password is going to be uh, provide the uh, details and um, when is going to be expiry dates are um, uh, example say you wanted to specify last day something like that you can also specify the expiry date details capital e you can specify the when the user is going to be expired example say i wanted to extend this user to um here with the 28 date and say username and now go to details and you can see that the password is going to be expired password is not inactive so i i am not going to inactive the use password but uh, i say account is going to be expired and the password minimum is to be changed this one and the maximum is to be 90 days and uh, before 10 days the user is going to be warned so like this you can use the change command to change the user details or the user password aging details so that the, the compile with the security information or the security uh, of the users example say you don't want it to give any uh, unauthorized access to the unauthorized persons so that's why so the system will take care automatically expiring the user details and all this stuff i hope this video is going to be helpful for you and uh, changing the user property details modifying the user details all the stuff okay in next video i'm going to show you that how you can change the how we can manage the users into the multiple groups whenever you are working as a collaborative team or as in a team effort or the project uh, uh, effort so how we can configure the user property details are the groups are the uh, directory structures are the directory permissions all the stuff okay uh, i hope this video is going to be helpful for you thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask